cables. Come on, Rick. No! The mucus is heading our way, too! Emergency stop! We're stuck to it! Full reverse! And we'll have to disconnect the cable. What? And abandon poor Rick? No way! We cannot do that! Yes, we can. She's right. We need to gain any small advantage we can. Ah, my sister's a monster! Once more, full reverse. Come on. Come on. Phew. That was close. Uh-oh. Overheating. Plastics clogging number three intake. Shut down the engines. Everything. Okay, that's it. We're totally cooked. At least we're free. Yeah, but Rick isn't. There's a blockage in number three water intake tube. The fan isn't functioning at all. Can you try to blow it out? No response. Everyone suit up. We need to go examine the intake. Have to manually clean it out and repair any damage. I can help clean it out. Thanks, Fontaine. But there's only room in there for one lucky person. Which leaves three of us to rescue Rick. Yes! Just don't get stuck to the mucus. <laughs> Words to live by. Larvations can't feel anything on the outer membrane. Let's see if we can perform a little surgery and remove Rick. Hmm. Darker than I thought. <sighs> mucus housing. Mucus. <laughs> mucus. Even the word is disgusting. I just hope Rick's not hurt. It's an object, and it won't be hurt. Damaged, maybe. I'll need a full checkup. You mean service. He's definitely my best creation yet. There's not a lot of competition. No one's ever powered a machine by pyrolysis to consume the plastic and convert it to fuel. Okay, that is clever and needed. Just try to remember it's a machine. You should be very proud for trying it. I am. Modest, not so much. Heads up, this is the actual larvation. The larvation has two houses that act as filters on both sides seems to be surrounded by this memory. Aw, hey there, big guy. It must have been alive for eons. I wonder if it's older than you and Dad. Well, that came out wrong. I just meant he's like an elder of the sea. As I was saying, it's been happy here for millennia, and suddenly it has to deal with all this plastic. Be on your guard. The last thing we need is one of you getting stuck to the membrane. Come on, let's check out Rick. Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Uh, Aunt Fontaine, I think there's something wrong with the larvation. How can you tell? I'm not exactly a colossal tadpole mucus creature expert. See how its tail movements are so spasmodic and jerky? It's supposed to move fluidly. I did notice some of the housing had a green tinge, like this. We have a sick monumental on our hands. Not surprising, I guess, given how much plastic it's been eating. To stay healthy, larvations eject their houses when the filters become clogged. Then they make a new one. Why hasn't he ejected his house? All the garbage has made him sick. He's too weak. He needs us. Will, the larvation's sick. I'll try to manually cut its housing away. Okay. I'll be there to help as soon as I'm done here. 
How bad is it? It's more plastic than submarine in here. Okay, we'll have to get started without you. <laughs> I need more arms. It won't be able to feel a thing. Don't you worry, big guy. We'll help you get rid of this giant booger. Hmm. Don't you use this shampoo, Fontaine? Yes, I do, but I dispose of my rubbish responsibly. And then what happens to it? Look, that chocolate bar wrapper. Isn't that your favorite? We're all responsible for this mess. Creatures like this pay the price. Hey, this isn't just a wrapper. The chocolate bar's still inside. Ah, oh, scar! You're going to eat garbage patch chocolate? Uh, fine, I'll share it with you. I think you misunderstood my disgust. Okay, I'm just about done here. There. Great job, Mom! Look, it's shedding its housing. just gone. Rover, this is Aranax. Can you hear me? That's it. The hyphenome. It sucks in water, then expels. Belt up, quick! Sonar. Mom? Dad? Can you hear me? Mom? Dad? Come in! Aranax to Rover. Come in. Mom? Dad? Can you hear us? How can a creature that big just vanish? It didn't vanish. It's not magic. I don't think we can rule that out. It just moves really fast. How? It doesn't even have fins. When the hypenome blasts out water, it gives the Nautilus jet propulsion. Jet propulsion? Cool. It travels backwards. Look. Yes, that direction. I hope. Okay, lights are functional, air purifier operative. All systems seem to be normal, but we're minus an arm. And inside a monumental, again. Rover to Aranax. Rover to Aranax, do you read me? Over. The shell could be too thick to get a signal out. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing here. We may have gone too far already. 
a few degrees off and we never see it. How far could it go in one burst? You ask as if I'd know that. I'm perpetually hopeful. Sonar! Yes! Hey, I think I see something. Sonar reads two degrees to starboard. It's... something. Our monumental something? Totally our monumental! Aranax to rover. Aranax to rover. Are you reading me? Rover to Aranax. We're reading you. Are you okay? We're good. Are you okay? We're fine. Just in a very weird place. Will, look. That's an Eper. Looks like your parents' emergency distress beacon. We're not detecting a signal from it. The battery is probably dead. So if the e is there, then Gramps and Grandma were sucked into that hyponome too! Yes, we could be close. That wall, it looks a lot closer than it was. Are we drifting? No, it's moving towards us, fast. Can we outrun it? We can try. Ah! Mom! Dad! You okay? Rover! Come on, talk to me! Backup time? Let's do it. Stay here, Jeffrey. You're our backup. You're right. You're no one's backup. You're front line. Come on, buddy. Avoid the Siri. Uh, funny way to avoid them if we're heading straight at them. It's okay. Nautilids are opportunistic feeders. Like me. Sure. But quieter. They catch slow moving things. Go faster. A top speed will be through before the Siri can react. You sure? Fontaine? You sure? All this is one big muscle. Imagine a flexible bladder that draws in all this water. Try to rock us free. Come on! Okay, we're moving slightly. Excuse me? That was the backup, arriving just when you needed us. Excellent. Glad to see you even though we didn't actually call for backup. Good backup anticipates your needs, and you need us, right? We definitely do. Push! Getting there, again! Yes! I'll keep some distance from that wall. The wall that just goes on forever. Something metallic ahead. Metallic? That sounds promising. Submarine! It's them! <gasps> oh. Okay, there's subs a mess, but that doesn't mean... Well... I hope they're okay. Mom? Dad? This is Will. Can anyone read me? definitely saw something. Will? Dad? It sure is. Give me that thing. Will? I'm here too. Oh, Will. Oh, yes. right. Talk. I want to hear your voices. Mom, are you both okay? We're a lot better now. Well, define okay. You sound great. And you're here? Fontaine? 
I'm here! We wouldn't miss this reunion for the world! It's been so long. You know, we've been in here for four months. Ever since we left Lemuria. I knew we'd find you! We knew you would too. Never gave up hope. We're okay for now, but every time this creature moves, we get banged around. I don't think our old sub can hold out much longer. Yeah, I'd say we got here just in time. But how do we get you out? Not easy. The airlock hatch is broken and rusted shut. I'll try to loosen it. Okay, there's no way out there. I see you have an escape capsule. Yes, but the ejection mechanism is broken. We can't use it. So we have to breach the hull.